The city can be divided in many neighborhoods. I'll show in this episode all the bike lanes, bike shops and interesting places to know in this part of the city. Let's check this area. These neighborhoods are mostly residential areas, but there are many businesses, embassies, touristic spots and two nightlife areas. There are three bike shops, one bike lane and a lot to see. The bike lane of this area starts in Dokesh, in Alcantara neighborhood, right next to the city port. I have to point out that these neighborhoods are very steep and not very accessible by bicycle. However, those with strong legs or with an electric bike can explore it easily. If you continue to the east, you'll find an open space where during weekends many families spend their time, kids ride their bikes, skateboards and have fun. In Fun Track, you can rent a bike and other recreational vehicles. Less than 100 meters north, you can find the Museum of the Orient. It was opened 10 years ago and it contains Asian and Portuguese art and artifact collections. It has a collection that shows the impact of the Portuguese in Asia and also another collection of artifacts from all Asia. Riding again on the bike lane, on your left you have the headquarters of Publico, an important newspaper, and then some clubs mostly frequented by the African community. Boca de Alcântara. Here you can take some boat cruises over the river. If you continue on the bike lane towards the center, you will pass closer to the National Museum of Ancient Art, but I will talk about it soon. Urban Beach, another nightclub. The bike lane ends in Caix do Sudré. On the other side of the train track, we are at the heart of Santos neighborhood. There you can find Recicla, a bike shop. Here you can build from scratch your next bicycle or simply buy and rent old ones. In front of the garden we have a barraca, a very known theatre founded in 1975 that shows adaptations of historical and political subjects. More bars and clubs on your left. This area is famous between the high school students. The Madrugua neighbourhood starts here. This is Poços dos Negros Fountain and was built during the project of the Aguas Livres Aquedut. It has a shield of Don Juan V, the king who ordered to build the palace of Mafra, the Juanin Library in Coimbra and Aguas Livres Aquedut. Very important to bring water to the city. In front of the fountain there is a statue of Gacotinho one of the piles that was the first to cross the South Atlantic Ocean by air from Lisbon to Rio de Janeiro in 1922. Madrigo is a neighborhood very typical of Lisbon, where the locals interact with each other and it's mainly inhabited by low-income families. If you climb the Esperança streets, you'll find the Puppet Museum inside the Bernardes Convent. Next to it, it's the French Embassy. L'ambassade était un ancien palais royal. Don Sebastian a vécu ici avant de partir à la bataille à Casequibir, où l'on croit qu'il est mort au combat. Mais la plupart des Portugais aujourd'hui ne le croient pas. <rire> ne pas oublier de visiter, juste à côté, l'église saint souvel Le roi passait beaucoup de temps là-bas. Leaving the French behind, and if you start climbing into the neighborhood, you'll truly see how nice the hell is are.
very steep, like I said before. <laughs> Next to the Mushedin Palace is the Izek, Lisbon School of Economics and Management. This street was built right after the 1755 earthquake. Following Calle Street, we'll enter in Lapa neighborhood, where many upper middle class families live. Steep, yes, but what a view over the river, right? That's Lapa Church. If you look carefully, you can notice that the tower is not in line with the church, but with the street. This is a more quiet area, full of embassies and a part of the Akadut. Those staircases will take you to the Infant Santo Avenue. Going down, you'll reach Janelas Verdes, still in Lapa. Janela's Verde Fountain was built during the Akadut project and it has a Venus and Adonis statue. In front we have the National Museum of Ancient Art. I've talked about it before in one of my videos, but in short, this museum is the pearl of our museums. Our Louvre. You can find here the collections of painting, sculpture, metalwork, textiles, furniture from the Middle Ages to the early 19th century. It has the Saint Vincent panels from 1470. A valuable group of six paintings where it shows important personalities of the time, but many are still to be identified. The 9th of April Garden is right in front, and please enjoy the view. At the beginning of Prazer's neighborhood, you can see the majestic São Francisco de Paula church. Yes, it's steep like I said, but it's just a little bit before arriving in Estrela. Another bike shop, Estrela Bike LX, with a large variety of Focus bicycles, accessories and a workshop. This bike shop is right next to another paradise in Lisbon, Estrela. Basilica de Estrela, it's a convent and church. Queen Dona Maria I had promised to build a church if she had a son, and it had later Don John VI, so the promise was fulfilled. Who designed the church belonged to the same school of those that designed the convent of Mafra, very similar. The towers have baroque ornamentation, which is characterized by volume and symmetry, along with sculptures that show strong emotions in order to shock the viewers. Before showing the famous garden, next to it is the Estrela Military Hospital, former convent of Nossa Senhora da Estrela. This is one of my favorite gardens in the city. I spend a lot of time there with friends. Quiet on the weekdays and full of life during the weekends and summer days. Jazz concerts, book fairs, open air movies during summer. This is the place to be. Perfect for all ages and it has some bike parks. This roundabout has a statue of Pedro Alves Cabral in memory of the discovery of Brazil. It was actually given by Brazil in 1941. 
The avenue with his name will end in Rat neighborhood, but that's for another episode. On the right we have the João de Deus Museum. He was a poet, beloved by the people and very famous at the time. In front of the garden you can find the English cemetery. It's one of the oldest cemeteries in Lisbon and it has an Anglican church in the center, St. George Church. Following the tram track until the end, you will arrive at Prazer's Cemetery. The cemetery and the near San Constable Church have a lot to talk about, and I will show it during the Camp Dorique video. The tram that departs from here crosses all the neighborhoods I showed and it goes to the city center. Finally, at the bottom of Prazer's neighborhood, you will discover the palace, park, and viewpoint of Nsidaj. Nsidat Palace was an old convent from the 18th century and it was here that in 1822 the first Portuguese constitution was written. Today is the headquarters of the Portuguese Foreign Ministry. The palace have a park called Tapad de Nsidat that was used by the royal family. Today is a garden with a large lawn many species of trees, a greenhouse, an elementary school. See you next time.